Hi, I'm Murray Brether. I won the Elite Lop in 1992 with Billy Joe Jim Bob. Go Canada, go! Uh, my dad, um, he had horses when I was born, and he was racing at old Woodbine track. I can remember going down there when I was young, three years old, and sitting on the, up in the grandstand, and, and he's had horses, so I just kind of got right into it, right through uh, him to screw up with it, and uh, I quit school when I was 16. My mom wasn't too happy about that, and I had my driver's license when I was 18. By the time I think about February come around, uh, everything was going to be a go if the horse was good, and um, and uh, the horse was good, so everything worked out good. I was always friends with Mike, the trainer, and um, I always drove a lot of colts for him when they were younger. I just started driving them, and uh, can. We got along all right, so we, I just kept driving them, and it worked out all right. The Maple Leaf Dress, the Standard Bread Canada, come to me and wanted me to um, ask me if I would wear their colors. And I said, sure, so um, they made the set up, and we wore them. That's how that come by. But I don't think I've worn them in either since, because I can't get into them anymore. My daughter's had them on a couple of times. It was a beautiful track. My thing I probably remember the most is the guy that was working on the track. He had that track perfect. It was just unbelievable, the track. I was wanting to get to the top, is what I was wanting. I was wanting to control the race. But it becomes also then number two, Billy Joe Jimbo, to leading. It becomes Paul Gavin and Kathy, outwendy, and then follows then number one, Meadow Prophet, and Peace Corps. She got a completely different leg than the other pair, outwendy. I looked over at the quarter pole and I seen Peace Corps coming three wide. Well, if I let her go, I'm I'm gonna have to take a shot right now. So I hung her out and and. Um, it all worked out pretty good. Around the last turn, like I, I had didn't have as much horse as I did in the elimination, like. But he's never gone through heat before. But he, he, he tried it through the wire strong. But if somebody would have come real quick, we might have, they might have gotten it. So for you also, Kit Lebel and Neil Lebel, the last two horses on holiday ferry, and for checking sit a car so long as possible. See, go for checking on inside. Billy Jumbo will spring out and then the profile comes closer. Neil Lebel has come close. I was pretty happy, big smile, yep, and the crowd was uh, going wild, and there was one guy, he ran across the track with a shirt on with said Billy Joe Jim Bob on it, I can remember that pretty good, and yeah, there's like Wally Hennessy, he went at John Campbell, but they weren't Canadian horses, this is the only Canadian horse to win it, and uh, there's been some other good ones go over there. We just had no luck. We everything went our way that day. I'll do it again. I probably wouldn't drive because I don't drive as much as I used to. I just concentrate on training horses. But if I had one to go, I'd be going.